So on the dry with if you're having headwind, then I do recommend to play on the right hand side. I'm playing with the rock to allow me to play with a club with a lot of accuracy, which will then prevent me from getting into obstacles if I do hit bad grades. Please listen to the end of the video as I in the end of the video explain how you can attack the pin from the left hand side if you do have a tailwind. But as I didn't get tailwind a single time in practice, but not, not a single time, that's a lie. I got tailwind the first two times, but then I got headwind after that. So my, um, my call and my place has always been down to the right hand side here to position myself for a rough bump off pin. I do play this very elevated drive on the right hand side to be 35% elevation and then max distance as I'm close to max here. The goal is to be exactly here around 320 yards. Playing down the left hand side is going to be less elevation because it's less downhill and I judge that to be 15% elevation instead of the 35 I do play on the right hand side. On the second shot from the right hand side, I decided to go for a rough bump here. This to uh, allow myself to not have as much um, effect after the first bounce with the wind. And then the Goliath is the club for me here. When it comes to uh, the uh, way I play here is that I play from a plus two landing position. I play max and minus 5% elevation P3 numbers. But now as outside plus yardage, I do make an estimation and play this one to be 88% uh, slider instead. And I'm fortunate to drop it on the right side of the cup. Obviously, it's going to differ depending on yeah, what wind angle you have and such like that. So to summarize here, right, if you do have a tailwind of T, I do recommend that you go left. That will allow you to play with a long iron from very close to min distance or a short iron for, from max to mid distance, depending on how far you reach. The drive out there though is, in my opinion, trickier because it, there is more bumps, there is rough in between, and it's tough to get the speed correct or you can roll into the rough and then you lose the opportunity. But if you do have a headwind uh, in any form, uh, the right side is the more sensible play because I do believe that risk from the left is most definitely not worth taking in a situation like that. But there's a lot of elevation on the drive, but the second shot, in my opinion, with that rough bump is actually fairly easy.